What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. It's me, Taj. You might have seen my My Hero Academia collectible card game booster box video not too long ago. Well, it's now time to open up the My Hero Academia collectible card game uh, two-player rival box. Izuku Midoriya vs Katsuki Bakugo. And we've also got the deck loadable content as well that goes along with this. Uh, so very excited to open these up. So let's have a look. Whoops, Midoriya. Oh my God. Midoriya's taking a fall and he's dropping his little All Might toy as well. Okay, let's pop you back there, Midoriya. We can uh, pop your little All Might toy just in front of you and your little book. That was a Father's Day gift to me from Nahal. <laughs> so, um, gotta look after that. There we go, let's pop these guys back there. We're gonna put our card pulls here. Let's have a look at this box. So this is the two player rival box. Um, as you can see, it's got um, stuff on the back here. I'm not gonna read all of this. You can pause this and read it if you like. I'll put it in focus for you guys here. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice book style box. Uh, let's get a plastic off here. I'll get a blade and carefully open this without damaging it. If I can. <laughs> ah, there we go, we should be able to cut in there. Okay, let's get the plastic off this thing. We can have a look inside. I'm assuming there's gonna be two separate decks in here. Uh, the whole plan of this is basically you can start playing, uh, two of you can start playing this game with this product, play against each other. So yes, here we go. All right, I'm gonna switch up the camera slightly. Um, we'll get it down here. Let's um, focus down here so we can see what's actually in the box. So I have to just cut the light on that for a moment. Okay, so what have we got? We have got the Midoriya deck. We got the Bakugo deck. Um, insert that down there for now. Another cardboard insert. A couple of playmats by the looks of it. Uh, probably one for each player. And we've got um, how to play guide. Okay, this box is pretty cool. That'd be very useful to use again to store all the cards in, I think. So I'll pop that to one side. Okay, let's have a look. Anything of interest in here for you guys? Yeah, I think this is instructions on how to play. I think I've seen this on the website as a as a PDF maybe, but gives you guides on how to play the game, what each thing means on the card, how you can read them, how you um, do different uh, maneuvers, etc., in your phases and play. So yeah, um, it's gonna be very similar to most other card games, I think, but it's a unique um, system called Universus by um, Jazzco, which is, they've got various different franchises that you can play and um, they're all interplayable, interconnectable. So, you know, you can play My Hero Academia and you can play other ones as well. So I think this is Midoriya's by the look of it, looks of it. Let's have a look at the back. Oh yeah, this is a giant poster as well. So there we go. Um, and we've probably got a Bakugo playing that as well. Yeah, this looks like it's Bakugo's. There we go. So there's a playmat. Very much in Bakugo's colours. And on the back, it is a poster featuring our hero. Okay, let's crack on. Let's have a look what's in these decks. Let's move the camera back up to our um, display area. There we go. We can turn the light back on as well now. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look. Should we open uh, Midoriya first? Izuku Midoriya deck. Let's uh, get this open. There is a little, nice little pull tab here if I can get my finger in here. These never usually work very well for me, but will this one? Oh yes. Oh yes. We've managed to crack it. Okay. So let's have a look. What do we have in here? What type of rarity? These are SE. I think SE are 
from the rival decks only. They're exclusive to this. So we've got Midoriya uh, SE card. We have got Aspiring Punch SE card. Uh, so the first card was a foiled card, as you can see. It's got some hollow foiling to it. Um, Aspiring Punch wasn't, so we got two copies of Aspiring Punch. Delaware Smash, two copies, three copies of that. Uh, Determined Victory Smash, again, this is an SE with a hollow foiling on it. Very nice looking card. Uh, we've then got Future Charge, which we've got three copies of. Again, that was an SE card. Another SE card here, Heroic Strike. One, two. Uh, we've got Reverse Throw, one, two, Setup Strike SE, one, two, we got a Velocity Punch SE card, one, two, Bonds of Friendship, which is another SE card as well. So we've got two, three, four copies of that, Gift from Mom. Uh, all of these, I think, are SE cards. Gift from Mom 1, 2, 3, 4 copies. Good impression. Again, SE 66. 1, 2, 3, 4 copies of that. Note taking. 1, 2, 3, 4. Passing the torch. We've got 4 copies of that as well. Uh, planning ahead, another foil looking foil card, which is very nice. Uh, recovery girls kiss, four copies. We've got uh, rigorous training. We all remember this rigorous training on the beach, don't we, from the anime? Four copies of that self sacrifice, which uh, Deku often does puts the people he's trying to save first ahead of his own well-being four copies of that and we end with a blitz rush ultra rare card um 11 of 180 very nice so we've got an ultra rare in here cool that's nice to see okay so one ultra rare which doesn't seem to be from the starter decks because the rest of them all have se um, rarity on the bottom so we've got three foil cards plus the ultra rare from the Deku Midoriya uh, starter deck and let's see what we get from uh, the Bakugo starter deck let's get into this one and see what this Deck holes. Okay, so we've got our main card for uh, Katsuki Bakugo. Again, all SE cards, I believe. We've got Blast Rush Turbo. One, two copies of that. Exploding Pride. Two copies of that. We've got a Howitzer Impact foil card. Uh, we've got an Instant Explosive Release. Two copies. A long Lasting Explosion. Three copies of that, yep. Uh, Monster Blast. Three copies of that. Point Black Incineration. Two copies, Signature Right Swing. Two copies of that, Aggressive Temper. You, no, he hasn't got an aggressive temper, has he? <laughs> Four copies of that. Uh, Agitation, very appropriately named card for this particular hero, as we all know. Arrogant Disposition. Wow, these, these card titles are just so, so appropriate. <laughs> Burst Speed. Four copies of this as well. We've got a Capabilities um, foil card. Let's pop that down there. So that's our third foil from this deck. Uh, encouragement. Four copies of that. It looks... Uh, Quite bewildered, getting encouragement from All Might there. In Danger, again, four copies of this card. We've got a Latent Skill, four copies. Uh, Let's Fight Bad Guys, 
Is that Midoriya in the background? I think that was, wasn't it? Yeah. Three, four copies of that. And our ultra rare from this particular pack was Grape Rush Attack. Cool. Don't know why my camera keeps going in and out of focus, but uh, we, we have um, got those. So right, okay, so that's our, those are our decks. And then we're gonna open the deck loadable content, which I believe is a box full of foils. So every card in there should be a foil. But uh, those are our three foils from the deck and we obviously got Great Rush Attack as well, which is very nice. So yeah, um, so, though, so this box has given us eight foil cards in total from the two decks. I don't know whether the ultra rare at the end are random in here. I'm assuming they probably are, but um, yes, there we go. That is. Um, the cards. Now, I'm assuming that these cards fall within... It says 100 SE from 180. So I'm assuming to get the complete base set of My Hero Academia, you're going to have to open all of these products um, to give you the 180 cards, I think. The booster pack box as well as the rival decks. And maybe, I don't know what's in, whether these are going to be exclusive and whether these are just going to be um, foil versions of normal cards or whether these are going to be additional cards from that 180 as well. We will find out shortly. So here it is, our deck loadable content, uh, nice foiled box there. The back tells you what you get in here. This display contains 24 foil cards, two of each character, two of each character's attack, two of each character's foundation. Okay, so every character? Okay, I don't know how many characters there are. And yes, every character I think displayed on the front here. So, let's uh, open this up, let's have a look. So we get sealed deck, we get a bit of cardboard to buffer it in. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. What are the card numbers? P, one of 12. Okay, so these are like promo numbers. Uh, it's MA, MHA uh, deck loadable contact 01. So this is a separate subset, separate from the main set. I'm looking at the numbering so yeah totally unique totally separate but let's have a look at these beautiful foil cards we've got all might two copies of all might uh mighty punch yes yeah, sorry i was talking about having to get two of yes yeah, two of these you need to get to get a full playset of each card uh mighty punch two copies of that we've got uh, staggering positivity so i think there's six cards each hero. Uh, Ochaka. Ochako's got her own card. So we've got two copies of Ochako. Again, one of my favourite characters. Float combo. Beautiful looking card. That just looks absolutely stunning as a card. Uh, first day of class. And then we got uh, Tenya. Ida's card. So Ida has two cards. High engine kick. And then he's got his Class 1A President card, as we all know. He's a President of Class 1A, he's a representative. And here is Sue. So, Tasuyu Asui, likes to be called Sue. Um, two copies of her card. We got a uh, Tongue Whip, because she has got a frog-like tongue. First um, Villain Encounter are her two end cards so there we go that is absolutely epic i love this deck loadable content um getting two copy copies of each is fantastic getting these character cards is amazing as well so you're guaranteed a character card of each of those characters i i'm really looking forward to more of these these are epic definitely worth it in, in my opinion so two super products um, I would highly recommend this one, uh, deck loadable content for sure, deck loadable content and we've got the uh, two player rival box as well. So we've ended up with uh, six of our main protagonists in this box, in these boxes, really good products, um, looking forward to merging these into my collection and putting these all into a binder. So thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you've enjoyed these My Hero Academia collectible card game products. I will try and get the new 
um, set that will be coming out soon. I don't know when it's going to be hitting the UK and Europe. I will get some pre-orders in, but it looks really exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my other content as well. And you can see me on twitch.tv forward slash Pokitaj, where I stream on a weekly basis as well. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.